Well, hello there, everyone. Gameplay vids 24/7 here. Welcome back to another episode of my Clicky Heroes Route 2 walkthrough for the PC. Ladies and gentlemen, we have made outstanding progress from the last episode. We are now up to level 259,000. We are about to climb past 260,000, hopefully in this episode if all goes well. Right now we are sitting on a total of, what is this, 6,400 Ancient Souls on hand with another 4,300 to actually transcend for. So that puts us over, what, 10k isn't it now, thankfully. I'm pretty happy with that guys. Um, last night's episode we, or was it two days ago? Gotta think, I think it was two days ago, was it? No, I don't know. Either way, the last episode that you guys saw, we're only just reaching 200k. So now, we're almost at 300k. I mean, how time changes over one night or two nights? I think it's only one night, dude, for real. It's pretty insane stuff. What I'm gonna do right now, I'm actually leveling up Cadmia, Alabaster, and Australia. These three heroes are uh, pretty much, think of them as Cad and Seuss. Uh, the mod changes all the way, like, all the, the the way the heroes actually work. So that's something you have to keep in mind, okay? So Cad, Alabaster, and Australia at my level are extremely powerful. Now, ideally, I'm going to start going from Alabaster into Australia. This way of leveling, I don't know if I'm doing it 100% right, but it's definitely going to work, and I'll show you all what I mean right now. We're sitting on 140 rubies, by the way, which we're going to lose right now <laughs> since we're on a quick ascend. There we go, I've just done a quick ascension, we're back to moving again, which is fantastic of course, but I am going to halt it quickly, because I want to use the calculator real quick. I'm going to import my save into the calculator. Just remember, if you need to know how to use that calculator guys, check out the tutorial video I've posted on YouTube, alright? Just search up, click a Heroes Route 2 Calculator Tutorial, okay? Either way, I do hope you all enjoyed today's episode, of course. Please remember to show your support, as always, by hitting that like and subscribe button, dropping a comment, and, of course, joining my Discord as well. Link's in the description below, okay? Now, I've just actually imp uh, imported my save right now, so I'm just going to wait and see how long Idle is actually going to take to come back here. I'm going to level up Australia and Alabaster there at the same time, just to get that over and done with. going to chuck one auto-clicker on Alabaster, so then Idle kicks in. Just remember, we are now a fully functional hybrid build. So I've gone from active to hybrid, everyone. I feel like that was the best decision that I could possibly do. Because right now, I haven't seen any signs of real stoppage until literally at this moment. You're going to see the wall get broken again, though. Right now, this is my wall. So you're literally going to watch it crumble as soon as my idle boost kicks in, okay? Get ready for it. It's going to be fascinating stuff. I give it around 20 more seconds, maybe 10 more seconds. I'll quickly check on my mercenaries while we're waiting. So, three ruby quests there will send my mercenaries on. Nice, got two uh, two rubies. There we go. So now my idle DPS boost is back in action. And now we're well on our way again, guys. So that's wonderful stuff. Uh, I'm going to continue to level up Alabaster here, though. Can't really level up Australia just yet. I think by the time I reach my next wall, Australia will be available for purchase, hopefully. Level 42,000 is her DPS boost. So, as soon as I get that DPS boost, I'm going to chuck Guild of Statuses into her, right? That's the way it's going to work here anyway. Um, I don't know. I don't Until I get that DPS boost, I feel like I'm not going to be able to pull off enough damage like Alabaster's doing right now. I could be wrong, though, because I'm still learning the ins and outs of this new leveling technique. But, I've been doing it this way so far, and it hasn't really steered me wrong. I am getting very far with the build that I'm doing now. So, I'm just going to stick to it until I'm confident that I can move on to Australia again, okay? Um, yeah, we'll, we'll figure it out. I think I'm on the right track here, guys. It's, it's definitely working for me. You know what I mean? You can, you can see the progress for yourself, especially if you're following the series. You know how far we've actually came in, like, what, two weeks? Not even, man. It's, it's been quite a ride so far. Now, I'm just thinking. With the auto-clicker on Alabaster, I can pretty much cover my bases with the leveling. I'm not going to level up Australia until Alabaster's near his maxed level. So, we're not going to be able to reach 100k, obviously. We'll switch into Australia by the time that happens. Uh, we ideally have to get Australia close to 40k. 42k is the, the actual goal, though, to get the pro-aging ability. Once we get pro-aging, I can guild uh, Australia. Then we move back to Cadmia, and we'll start living up Cadmia again, guys, all right? That's the way I think it's going to go down. Hopefully, I am correct with that. As I said, only time will tell. We'll find out very soon, all in all. Chiron's not going to be leveled up for a very long time. 
just because of how expensive he actually is. So yeah, we're kind of stuck with that, but that's alright. So I do have unlimited ability still, obviously, everyone. Nothing's changed there at all. Uh, yeah, 99.99% skill cooldown there. Very nice stuff. Reblocks are 96%. I do have the choice to queue into reblock if I want. But, I don't know. I mean, I don't want it to really hurt my... My rubies. Or oh, not my rubies, so what am I saying? Hurt my hero souls. Because that damages my overall DPS at the end of the day. So yeah, it's something that I'm considering maybe queuing into reblock, but I don't know. If you don't know what queuing into reblock means, it means when you press the Q button on your keyboard, of course, uh, you select the, the uh, Ancient that you want to spend max on. So whatever hero souls you can possibly spend on it, you will spend. Oh man, but yeah. Australia's next on the list, man. We're getting closer and closer to unlocking Pro Aging. 4,000 levels left for Australia. It's funny, man, because I've never actually been this... Well, I wouldn't say never. I have not been this energized to play Clicker Heroes in a very long time. Uh, I know you guys can sense that I'm obviously way more happy to play Route 2 than I am with the original Clicker Heroes at this point. You know what I mean? I've done 500 episodes of the original Clicker Heroes. People still want me to go back. I'm not going back, everyone. No way in hell. Look how far we managed to go in two weeks compared to my three years nearly of Clicker Heroes. You know what I mean? Like, you can tell the difference, man. Now that I'm switched on, I know what's going on at least. We can dominate the game, all right? So just have faith. Back me on this, guys. I promise you, I won't steer you wrong. If you want to learn how to play Route 2, watch me and I'll help you out. All right? All in all. I learned from, obviously, the, be the developer himself of this and, you know, the best Discord players as well. So, yeah, you can't really go wrong with that. I'm, I'm open to help anyone, by the way. Just message me, leave a comment if you need help, and I'll help you out to the best of my abilities, okay? Uh, we're still gaining Ancient Souls, obviously, slowly but surely. I don't really have any choice to ascend. or well, I can't really transcend, guys. I'm stuck now at this point, you know what I mean? I'm at the mercy of the game. Um, I'm not going to transcend at all. I'm going to hold it off and grind and grind and grind. Hopefully, it doesn't take me too long to get to my next break point, which is 18,000 Ancient Souls. Just remember, we're sitting on, what, 10k right now. So, it shouldn't take us too long at the end of the day, but... Yeah, we'll find out definitely sooner or later, I'm sure. Alright, about to pass 260k on camera. There we go. First time ever. Past 260k on camera, ladies and gentlemen. Very nice stuff indeed. Very happy here. Very happy moment. Seriously, it's good stuff, dude. Now my next mission, I guess... What the hell? Why was the skins button just glitching out? That was weird. Yeah, my next mission, obviously, is to get to 100 rubies again so I can perform another quick ascension when I have to, okay? Really just dominating here at this point. Try not to misclick as well to break my idle boost. That's the worst thing, dude. When I try and click on the Gilded Status tab, I always manage to misclick, and I completely stuff up my uh, <laughs> my idle boost for damage. <laughs> Don't know if anyone else has ever done that before, but I sure as hell have. It's ridiculous, man. Absolutely ridiculous. Alright, here we go. How many Gilded Statuses now in Alabaster? 26,000 Gilded Status boost into Alabaster. Fantastic stuff. Uh, we are still on 81%. No, we're on 81% achievements now. And that is because I unlocked the achievement Transcendent Zonist. Very nice indeed. Next achievement on the list is Point of No Return, and that's 1 million zone. God knows how long that's going to take. Relics wise, we've got Ronin Shade of Accuracy. Massive levels there to Sniperino and Libertes. Ram Spirit of Enhancement. And 56k to Aragath, 36.55 to Kronos, 3,739 to Silatus, 2,903 to Pluto. Fire Grips of Luck, which is a fabled relic, level 180,000. 57.51 levels to reblock, ladies and gentlemen. Confusing Magnet of Battery Life. Insane levels there, I'm not going to bother reading them out. There you have it. The relics wise, we're set, ready to roll. Everything's looking up for us, guys, on this run. I'm hoping we don't crash and burn with, like, a massive wall that we cannot pass. I mean, it, it does worry me a bit. I'm scared. But we'll figure it out as we go along, as we've done so far, okay? Australia's getting closer and closer now to that 42 level, or 42k level mark, which is wonderful. This is where you want to be. This is it, man. I'm, I'm so freaking happy. 
I'm so not used to not clicking on Clickstorm, do you know what I mean? Like, I'm not used to it. I'm always used to spamming every ability, but I can't now. We're not in the hybrid mode just yet. Just got to hold off a bit until we can hit that DPS wall. Which I'm fairly sure will be in around 2k levels or so, or maybe 3k levels. I guess we'll find out very shortly, definitely. At least we managed to pass 260 on camera. No signs of slowing down just yet. It's good, man. It's very good indeed. Alright. Well, look, everyone. I mean, I just wanted to show you all what's happening on today's video. Hopefully, um, you guys are still enjoying the series, of course. I mean, I know it's Clicker here is probably outplayed by now, and I've, you know, thrashed out the series, obviously. But, all in all, I'm hoping I'm still able to entertain you guys after all these years. Thank you so much for watching. We are... This is... I wish I could have played like this the first time around. I would have been so much happier. But, that's fine. This is a redemption run for Clicker Heroes. It's time we smash it out, bro. Thanks for watching, guys. Please stay with me. Uh, continue to watch the series. Trust me, man. We're going to go places with this. We're going to go high. I'm telling you now. I will catch you all in the next episode, of course. Cheers, guys. Love you all out there. Stay safe. Catch you all tomorrow. See you all on Discord as well, okay? Links in the description below. Catch you around, guys. Hope you enjoyed. See you later. Please remember to hit that like and subscribe button to help my channel grow. Just remember to hit that notification button as well, which is the little bell next to the subscribe button. Thank you very much. Hope you enjoy the video.